Welcome back everyone. We have a new game and it's, uh, hopefully the video on this one will be a little bit better for clarity's sake. I've made a couple adjustments after watching the uh, last couple, just taking a look to see how they came out. Um, in the meantime, I also turned up some of the graphics and we'll turn on the grid just so we're familiar with it. Um, and it's the king's turn. Our goal is to head back to town. Uh, to actually settle and form a new town. Obviously we can't build it here on an empty tile, or a, a wooded tile. Alright, move here. Have our queen go... find that there are some dangerous monsters nearby. And she indicates that she's going to be taking the horse. All hail the Queen of Paradin! Taking on two by herself. She's just that darn good. Let's hear it for Rillis. She has found a horse. Freed the village from Darklings. And it seems to have warmed up to her. This basic horse will grant your units more speed in combat and in travel. But little else. Alright. Let's see. Is it equipment? Why, yes it is. And we got two of them. So, we could try to uh, send one to our king and put one underneath her. Alright. That was actually pretty cool. Seriously. Look at that. The queen's on her horse. Fluffy. And what'll be cool is eventually when we get her a saddle. Alright. Uh... Let's see, so we have a spare one. We'll give that to the king and see what happens when we try to equip that. Look at that. The boots and the horse mount are working together, so that is actually very beneficial to us. Speed is, well, in a lot of cases, speed is everything, so it's pretty cool. Uh, next is Rillis herself. She's got a little bit of movement left. And we're going to send her to the west shortly. But before we do, we're going to check town and see what we can make. We can make peasants. Let's train us a bunch of pre uh, peasants. That works. Resources. Food and materials coming in. What else can we build? Well, our city is uh, slowly growing. That's useful. Um, a pub providing prestige. Uh, okay, something to take into account. Merchants provide wealth. And a hut provides uh, space for our people to grow into. Towns, as it were. Um, we're going to go with Realistically, hmm. the merchant first, still expanding to the west, followed by the hut, not Java, just the hut, and not like the shack, like Radio Shack, this is just the hut. Alright, so we got one of those built, things are coming along pretty nice, let's see, item shop. Shop inventory apparently is pretty empty right now. So, that's what that is. And, Nalawawawa is going to go over here. And we can finally learn something awesome. Allows construction of arcane laboratories. Monastery, Band of the Eagle Eye. Channeling is increasing spell knowledge. Shard harvesting. Uh, that is probably key when we get that fire shard up there to the north. I think we're going to start with the arcane research. And we're going to continue learning about that while we can. So, in the meantime, we will have our venture search a pouch of emptiness. And then head to the north. Slowly. Ever so slowly. Our queen, who's now got a speed of five, 
the, the animation for the horses is actually pretty decent too. That's kind of cool. Seriously, if anybody has any doubts about how cool this game is, just keep watching. And this isn't even the real version yet. This is just a beta with stuff turned down, like graphics and the rest of it. Even if you turn off the grid, it's a beautiful map. So, anyways, uh, moving on. Let's see how far the king can get this time. Oh, that far. Alright. Send our queen off this way. And she can go a little bit further. We're actually going to send her to this in quest here shortly. Uh, hey, look at that. A peasant. That'll be useful. Because we're actually going to start uh, picking up a couple of them to send with our king. Is there anything else that we can do over here? Not really. It's alright. Zooming back out. Ancient ruins up here. Beyond that, not much else. Okay. Uh, the reason why I want to build here again is we have forest for, well, forest uh, for timber lodges and things like that. We have the Crystal Crag, uh, build and enchant a foundry here to gather crystals, which can be used to enhance magic items, apparently. I, I could be wrong, though. Uh, may not even show up in this version, so we'll see what happens. Overall, I like the, the, the build of it, so we're going to just go ahead and build a town, call it Tana. Hmm, five essence to build this. No, that is not acceptable. But what do I see over here? Looks like some land is possibly um, healthy enough for us to actually utilize it. So we'll probably head that way. Hey, more horses! Oh yes. We're going to definitely take on that quest. Oh no. It's in a spot all the way on this other side here. Anyone want to make any bets about us not being able to get there for a while? Yeah, me too. Alright, anyways, betas are fun for that. And it's, who says that, you know, an adventure all the way across the sea isn't a, a bad adventure. Okay, so that was her movement there. Move back. Setting her towards this other end. And the king... is going to continue on. So, we're going to actually have him move here, and build a, a city. I like the name we had earlier, Tana, so we'll call it Tana. Could have probably called it Owatana for Minnesota areas, but that's fine. Okay, uh, what is it going to take to build here? Well, money, and what else do we need? Citizens. Well, those are all important. Oh, 100 gold for an arcane laboratory. Let's see. A workshop's useful. So is merchants. But now, I want us to be able to expand and pick this up eventually. If it ever lets us. So, we'll just expand that direction for now. Okay, well that was this video, we'll see you in the next one shortly.